big data. That's our word, or should I say words, of the day. The phrase is relatively new, but the concept has been around for decades. Journey back with me for a moment to 1965. At that moment, the U.S. government planned the first data center to store tax returns and fingerprints. Can you believe that was only 52 years ago? I can't. We have been dealing with all this data for years. But the term big data is really emerged on the scene in the 1990s. It basically refers to storing large amounts of the information, both structured and unstructured. Here at Specialty Media, we've been writing about this for more than 20 years. We have watched all the birth of Web 2.0 has increased with data volume significantly, and we have seen the struggles that the construction industry faces when dealing with big data. Today, we see three big ways that big data is changing the industry. First, it is changing the decision-making and program-solving processes. Data helps with planning forecasts and project progress monitoring. Big data actually facilitates decision-making on a consistent basis. And now that's the good news. The challenge is actually analyzing and storing all this data. That leads me to the second way big data is changing the construction industry. It is requiring CIOs to determine how to access all this information. Perhaps even more importantly, which data should be leveraged and by whom? Those are the really tough questions you have to answer. That is what CIOs and in some circles data scientists are actually grappling with today. The final way big data is changing the industry is how buildings, bridges, and roads operate. Sensors can monitor structures. This big data can then be used to determine which maintenance needs to be scheduled. Data is getting bigger. How are you going to manage it? Big data, that's your word of the day. And thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, where we are all talking tech at the job site.